In this video, you'll learn how to calculate and display total and group summary values within the DevExtreme Extreme MVC Data Grid Control. I've already created a simple MVC application using the DevExtreme ASP.NET MVC5 project template, added the Data Grid Control on the index page, and defined a data source for the grid. Here's the grid. This control is bound to the orders array. To define different summaries for my grid, I'll specify the summary field. It has the total items and group items fields. The total items field takes on a list of objects defining summaries calculated based on all grid rows. The group items field takes on a list of objects defining summaries calculated based on the rows included in the current group only. Let's define a total summary that is the sum of all sale amount values. For this purpose, I'll add a total item field to the total items list. I set the column field to sale amount so that the summary uses data from the sale amount column. Next, I specify the summary type. I'll set it to sum. And let's see the result. The summary value has been calculated and now it is displayed in the grid footer in the sale amount column. All right, let's add two more total summary items one to calculate the count of orders, and one more to calculate the minimum order date. And let's see the result. Let's change the text displayed for the minimum order date. To do this, I specify the customized text callback, where I return the first at custom text plus the calculated summary value. And here it is. Now let's group the grid by the employee column by setting the group index option for this column. I'll add a group summary item to calculate the count of orders in the group. In addition, I'll add a group summary to calculate the sale amount in the group. I'll set the summary items show and group footer field to true. And let's see the result. Now the number of orders is displayed in the group header and the sales amount in the group footer. The total summaries are also displayed as defined. And that's it for this video. To learn more about the DevExpress ASP.NET MVC controls, check out this playlist, subscribe to our channel, or check out our online documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.